Hi guys, my name's Barry and welcome back to the channel. It's been officially announced that there's going to be possibly a legacy sequel to I Know What You Did Last Summer coming out July 18th, 2025. When I say possible, the film's definitely coming out, but we just don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to be a complete remake? Is it going to be a reboot? Or is it going to be some sort of legacy sequel that will bring back Freddie Prince Jr. and Jennifer Love Hewitt? That's what we don't know yet. But one thing we do know for definite is we're getting that movie on July the 18th, 2025. So I'm pretty excited for that, guys. Apart from I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, which was a direct-to-DVD film, which won't count, and obviously the TV show that we got from Prime, Amazon Prime, won't count. It hopefully as a sequel to I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. There are people out there that don't really like that film. I, for one, absolutely love I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. I think it's almost on par with the first film, I Know What You Did Last Summer. There was rumblings a couple of years ago of the sequel coming out and it was ex people were excited for it, but then it fell flat in its face. We had nothing for a while and then we had a little bit of news and then nothing. So we've, it's been back and forward for the past couple of years and luckily now it's definitely happening. A few months ago, Jennifer Love Hewitt went on to Michael Rosenbaum's Inside of You and she did mention that she would easily do a sequel to I still know what you did last summer, but she did say that she had no approach. And during that time, and even before that, there was almost confirmation that it was happening and Jennifer Love Hewitt was coming back. But that was all just rumours. And it, it turns out it wasn't true because she obviously confirmed it as well that nobody's approached her. However, she would do it if she, would, if she could. But then a few months after she'd done the or a few weeks after she'd done Michael Rosenbaum's Inside of You interview. She'd done an interview on one of the red carpets, I think it was for a show 911, and somebody asked her about it, and she said that she can't say anything. So I thought, okay, sounds like something's definitely happening there. And it's been confirmed now that it's 100% happening, but it doesn't mean that she's coming back. However, because of the things that she's mentioned in the lead up to this confirmation, I'm pretty sure she'll be back. Is Freddie Prince Jr. going to come back as Ray? Who knows, but I would think that they would offer him a good bit of money just to bring him back because I think it's best to do this legacy sequel rather than a reboot with different characters. Of course, we will have new characters coming into it. I don't know where they're going to go with this, so are they going to continue on with Ben Willis and Will Benson? Are one of them still alive? And it could be that they are still after Julie and Ray. Or is it going to be a new crop of characters that accidentally, or they think they've killed someone and get rid of the body, and then we get a similar storyline? I don't think that would work too well, especially if we've got Ray and Julie back. What are the 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 chances of them being involved in something like this? Or could they play the Anne Hesh type character where they're only in it for a few minutes and then the new characters come to them for advice and then go away? I think that would be too cheesy. So I don't know how they're going to go with that. I'm excited for the film, but I'm still wondering where are they going to go with this movie? When you look back over the past 26, 27 years for these first two movies, one thing's for certain is the bad guy in these films have been great. I love Ben Willis in these movies. How are you going to top that? I don't think he's going to be back because he's obviously an old actor now. Uh, never say never, of course, but I just think there's something about Matthew Settle and his performance as Will Benson that I would love to see return. And maybe they can do this who done it type film where we don't know who the killer is and then it's revealed at the end of the movie that it's Will Benson. But that would also rely on the current audience knowing who Will Benson is and have seen I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. So if they advertise this film, is coming out, they're going to really need to advertise it as a sequel to the first two movies so that anyone who hasn't seen these films can watch them in preparation for the third film and a hopeful trilogy. I'm still loving the resurgence of the teen slasher movies of the late 90s. I know that the Scream films kind of took a nosedive with Scream 6, but they still came out. We're still getting the, those films. Scream 7's obviously coming out as well. So I'm just still loving the current resurgence 
of these teen slashers. Yes, we've had a few stinkers throughout our time, but I'm hoping that these big ones that are coming out are going to really elevate this teen slasher phase again. So what are your thoughts on the news of this movie coming out, guys? Would you like to see Jennifer Love Hewitt coming back? Would you like to see Freddie Prince Jr. coming back, one or the other? And what do you think of the bad guy? Do you think the bad guy is going to be someone from the previous films, or do you think they're just going to completely redo it and give us a new crop of characters with a new villain and uh, leave your comments down below guys let me know what you think and i'll talk to you soon meeting adjourned i'll be right back what are you waiting for huh coming to get you barbara ever play skin the cat ah! Ah! i want to look back